Hello, good afternoon. I'm Dani at ito ang aking sine chika. Pag-usapan naman natin ang mga movie stars of our generation from 2010 to 2019. I'm sure kilala ninyo itong mga babanggitin ko. Pagpasensyahan niyo na kung kulang ang mga mababanggit ko dahil di kayo sa time. Pero feel free to share na lang later yung mga sa tingin nyo ay nakaligtaan ko. Yes? Okay. Pansinin naman natin yung nasa screen. Ayan, nandiyan si Anne Curtis from her action film by Boss General Luna Janercilia. Sambalang Alempoy Alex De Rossi and Empoy ng Kita Kita. Isa Calzado from her psycho thriller film Bliss and J.M. and Angelica ng That Thing Called Tadhana. Diretso na agad tayo, movie actor. Siyempre, hindi mawawala dyan si John Lloyd Cruz. During these years, mas na-establish siyang kanyang pagiging ultimate leading man, especially sa mga rom-com movies. 2010, John Lloyd and Tony for My Amnesia Girl. 2012, Lloyd be an angel unofficially yours. Jump to 2016, Lloydy and Janeline for Just the Three of Us. Jump back to 2013. Si Lyda at Midi ay nakita na ulit para sa last installment ng kanilang trilogy, It Takes a Man and a Woman. Ang huling Ash Lloyd movie ay Finally Found Someone noong 2017. Ito rin ang last mainstream movie ni Lloydy bago mag-break from showbiz. And of course, Bea and John Lloyd. Romantic drama ang forte ng kanilang partnership unlike the past tandems that I have mentioned. 2010, Miss You Like Crazy. 2012, The Mistress. At ang reunion movie syempre ni Popoy at Basha. Sa second chance, it was a massive success dahil ito, numa, dahil ito lang naman ang nakabreak sa highest using record streak ni Vice Ganda noong 2015. Gumawa din si John Lloyd ng outside the romantic genre film. Markado ang kanyang naging pagganap sa The Trial where he bagged the Best Actor Awards. Gawad uri ang Best Actor for his work naman sa Honor Day Father. He also starred in two Love Diaz film, Hela sa Hiwagang Happies with Viola Pascual and Ang Babaeng Humayo with Charo Santos. Ayan, that's a film still from Honor Day Father. John Lloyd nyo, pagod na. <laughs> Mudo. Well, let's move forward naman sa love scenes. From real to real. Ang eksena ng halos lahat sa kanila. Kaso syempre, walang forever two down na. Let's take a look sa pinakamatatag. Katniel, from 2013 up to 2018, ay gumagawa sila ng film every year. After their film na The House of Us noong 2018, ay na-partner si Katrin kay Alden at yan ang Hello, Love, Goodbye. This movie is the highest grossing Filipino film of all time. Next is Jadeen. Ang una nilang film ay isang Wattpad adaptation, Diary ng Panget noong 2014. Nasundan pa ito ng three films at isa na doon ang Never Not Love You, ni Derek Hadaune, kung saan nanalo si Nadine ng Gawad Uri and Best Actress Award. At ngayon, well, break na sila. <laughs> Then, let's scan. Their first movie was She's the One. Supporting actors pa lang sila noon kay Bea and Ding Dong. At ngayon, ang huli, ang huli nilang film ay Alone Together na si Hadaw na din ang nag-direct. And lastly ay Josh Lea. Their movie debut was for Vince Cat and James an entry for MMFF 2016. Their last film was a zombie film, Block C. Sabi nga, the modern um, Claudine Barreto, Enrico yan daw. Well, kaso, nagkaroon ng pagpapaubaya. <laughs> Now, let's move forward sa comedy stars. Sila ang frontrunner ng MMFF every year. Paborita ng masa tuwing Pasko, Vice Ganda and Vex Soto, Bossing. Bossing with an ending and then kabisote films. Meron din syempre na nag-experiment siya sa Rise of Bimbitanda and of course, Aldab. Next is Vice Ganda Films na number one every year. I don't know, ito kasi yung mga highest-grossing films 
Well, from the Uncobogable Private Be Benjamin of 2013 to Fantastic of 2017. Now, let's move forward to Breakthrough Movie Stars. Sana natin kay Christian Bables, multi-awarded indie movie star. His movies are Signal Rock, The Panty Sister, and Die Beautiful. Next is Elijah Canlas. His work, his work sa Kalel ay nagpapanalo sa kanya ng Best Actor sa Asian Film Fest, Gawad Urian, Paragon, and Pista ng Pelikulang Pilipino. A very young actor, 20 years old. Next is Janine Gutierrez, the 2020 Gawad Urian Best Actress for Babae at Baril. And lastly, Charlie Dixon, 2020 MMFF Best Actress for her work, sa fangirl. Oh, check. Chika nyo na lang din yung mga hindi ko pa nabanggit. Ayun lang. Thank you for listening.